going on YouTube? CM Moto here. I got a couple of rants to talk about. Two companies, two American companies. I already knew that they sucked. I just confirmed it to myself that these two companies that I'm gonna talk about, they fucking suck balls, man. One of them is uh, Walmart. Fuck you! And the second one is FedEx. Fuck you! Can't stand these two fucking companies. So the first company I want to talk shit about, and I have a little problem with these guys, it's Walmart. Uh, as you know, Walmart sometimes has like these crazy cool uh, specials on them, you know, and they sell shit very cheap. Uh, so I saw a TV there, like a 50-inch TV, nice brand, LG. Uh, I got the TV, everything was all set up, tracking number, shipped to my house, five days, was at my door. My wife gives me a call, listen, uh, the TV just got in, you know, so uh, since you're at work, you know, I'm gonna let you, when you come back from work, you uh, open up the box and you do your thing. I'm all happy, oh shit, I'm gonna go home, open up the shit, connect wires and stuff, I like, I kinda like that. Yeah, buddy. First thing I bring up the TV from the box, broken glass. I'm like, what the fuck? And I kind of think to myself, well, these things happen, you know, come on the trucks and shit like that. This kind of shit happens. So forget about it. Let's just forget about this shit. I'm gonna send it back, get another one, no problem. So I called you uh, Walmart, complained to the lady. The lady was like, oh, I'm sorry that happened, sir. As you know, that happens sometimes. You know, it's not our fault. I, I understand. Uh, now I want another TV. I must send this one back and I want another TV. First thing, oh yeah, no problem. And then she comes back. Uh, listen, we have no more of these TVs. Uh, I don't know what to do. What do you mean you don't know what to do? You don't have this TV, you gotta get me another one with the same specifications. She was trying to sell me like a cheap ass Vizio or fucking Element or some stupid ass brand TV for the same price as the other one. And I said, nah, I won't take that. The least I could take is the same TV. You give me a 55 inch for the same price. I, I think I deserve that. You know, it's not my fault that the TV came broken and you guys have no more in stock or online or whatever. Oh, that's a great idea, sir. You had a great idea. I spoke with my manager. Yeah, it's fine. We could give you a 55 inch for the same price. And I'm sorry that all happened to you, this and that. And I was like, oh shit, these people actually treating me up. Cool, man. This is actually pretty nice. Fuck, what the fuck is happening? Probably an accident. And all of a sudden, uh, the lady, okay, sir, uh, everything is taken care of. Uh, I'm gonna send you a FedEx slip. You don't have to pay anything, just glue that on the box and we'll, we'll uh, arrange everything for you. A truck will pick up the TV throughout the week. And I'm talking about Monday, uh, Tuesday. And uh, so all week, you know, I've been waiting for the truck. The truck never came. I called, oh, it comes today. And then they never came. And then I called back the next day, oh, we come today. And on Friday, man, I just got pissed off. They were about to send the other TV to my house on Friday, which was supposed to get the, uh, here on Friday. It never came, bro. TV never came. The lady forgot to process it. Man, I just got pissed off, man. And I started fucking screaming at the lady and talking mad shit. I, I said how much FedEx and Walmart sucks because all week, man, they've been dragging me along. I cancel everything. The employee didn't even give a shit about what happened. It was a big accident here. But hey man, thanks for listening to this little rant about uh, Walmart and FedEx and fuck these two companies, they suck. And uh, my business, they will never get again. If something is FedEx, I gotta deal with it. But I'm not gonna do anything with them on the, over the phone. I'd rather go to the, to the location, underground location, and deal with it over there. That's it. Get the tracking number. If they don't send it, that's their problem. Let me know if this happened to you before. 
with FedEx and Walmart or any other customer support service because it gets on our nerves, man, because we just want you know, that's why these people exist, that's why these people get paid, is to do their own job and they're not doing their job. They don't give a shit about us customers. So if you guys have any, uh, have anything like this happen to you guys, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, man, don't forget to hit that like button, share if you haven't already. And beautiful sky, too bad it's gonna rain a little bit sucks it's like about 105 degrees i'm a fucking toasting over here but i'm getting home and i'm gonna drink some brewskis motherfucker yeah all right peace